Tell me about bad re- reputation. Do you any any uh, thoughts on on how that was created? Um, no, but I guess I'm always really grateful that the estate of George Harrison hasn't come down on us because it is pretty much, you know, while my guitar gently weeps, uh, sped up. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I mean, that's that's a song <laughs> that I had. Did I, I think it was one of the first things that I brought to the band along with the fight. Um, I had cut a version of the fight in Memphis when I lived there before I moved up to New York. But um, Bad Reputation was just, that may have even been a latter day H bomb song. I can't really remember where that came from. Uh, didn't you record it in Memphis? I think you did. Bad Reputation. Oh, yeah, I did. I recorded that one too. That's right. Okay. So I wrote that, probably wrote that the last little bit of time in Chapel Hill when I was playing in a band with Mitch and Robert Keeley from Sneakers and Chris Chamis, uh, who was one of the drummers in Little Diesel. And we had a band called the H-Bombs. And Will and Mitch and I went to Memphis in a well-documented uh, story and hung out with Chris Bell from Big Star. And we went and saw some of the recording of Like Flies on Sherbet by Alex Chilton. And I took that to heart and I thought, well, shoot, I'll move down there. Maybe mm-hmm. it, that'd be a good place for me. And it turned out to be a not very good place, but I did get to do some recording at Sam Phillips studio with um, a guy named Richard Roseboro. Mm-hmm. Bless his heart. Miss him, miss him terribly. Really, really nice guy. He was a drummer that played on some of the big star stuff, but he sort of took me under his wing and we did some recording there and I did the fight and I did bad reputation. And we brought, I brought those up to the DBs when I came up. And it was like, they just fit right into the set list somehow. So I was really grateful to be able to come in with, with you know, with something like that. 